And welcome to another studio vlog. My name is Dragon Salmon. You're welcome to call me Joe. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are having a lovely November and a cozy late autumn. It is definitely late autumn here. It is cozy sock season. It is roasted vegetable, gallons of tea, and brisk walks and blanket season here. I want to say thank you so much again for all your lovely comments and your support in the previous vlogs. It really means so much to me and I'm so appreciative and grateful for all of them. So thank you so much for taking the time to yeah brighten my day like that. I like to take a little bit of a sneak peek sometimes when I'm working or if I'm having a bit of a rough day at work. Uh, it always just brightens my day when I see a lovely comment. Um, so thank you very much. It's also so much fun to connect with people who have a similar sense of humour as yourself. I love that you guys can kind of catch my little jokes and my little movie quotes as you did in the last vlog. So yeah, that's so much fun and it's so much fun to connect with you guys. So yay, just, just so happy to have you guys here and so grateful. So in my last vlog, I made a little bit of a mistake. Um, so the Swedish legend I was painting was called a skogsvrå. So it's not skogsvrå, what I said. Um, Swedish is technically still my second language, so I'll use that excuse. But yeah, so it's a skogsvrå and I got really embarrassed. So I privatized the video just so I could try and edit it or figure something out. However, I just couldn't really get around to it and I couldn't really figure it out. So I thought, you know what? Everybody's been so kind so far, so I'll just own up to the mistake and I'll explain and it'll, it'll be fine. However, when I did uh, public publicize it again, um, all the comments were gone and I was absolutely devastated. Um, so, yeah, I, I asked for, like, you know, customer support and they said that unfortunately they do purge the comments if you privatize it. I'm not sure why. But yeah, that, that was pretty devastating. <laughs> um, however, they did come back, so I did try to answer as many as I could when I when it was up. But then they disappeared again, and uh, yeah, and then that's when I wrote the comment, and then they appeared again. So I'm not sure what happened there, but I'm scared to touch it uh, now in case it disappears again. So yeah, but the main thing is the legend is called Skogsvrå, so not Skogsvrå. So, as I said before, it is late autumn now, supreme coziness uh, season, <laughs> and it's been a very quiet month for me. I haven't really been doing too much, not too many adventures. I've been going on plenty of walks and just, uh, you know, little, uh, you know, <laughs> side quests, maybe. Um, yeah, just really enjoying the ever-changing weather we've had this month. Uh, I love that. It's uh, We get some sunny days, uh, but we do also get plenty of storm and gloomy days, which I love. Uh, I do love seeing the colours though and all the different uh, weathers though. Uh, the lovely orange and yellow leaves against the blue sky. Pretty breathtaking, I have to say. I mean, it's complementary colours, you know, orange and blue, so of course it's going to look good. but. I really like it as well when it's a really eerie, kind of gloomy day where it's uh, very grey and misty out and then you can see the trees kind of turn almost a black and with the orange uh, kind of popping out there, oh, I love that as well. So yeah, it's, I really do love November as it feels quite uh, like a calming month, like a bit of a buffer month as there's no real deadline at the end of the month, there's no spooky season or Christmas. So yeah, it's kind of a time to take it a little bit easy. It's also getting a lot darker, very noticeably, and uh, I don't seem to ever really get used to it. I don't know about you guys. 
um, I don't mind it, of course, again, it's another cosy element, so you get to light some candles a little bit sooner, um, but I do notice that I get really sleepy, uh, to the point where on the bus on the way home, I cannot keep my eyes open, I am out for the count. <laughs> Um, it's, I think that's just me in general. Uh, if I'm in a car, bus, train, I am always falling asleep. But uh, now definitely more than ever. I'm almost like a toddler, nodding off. <laughs> I guess it's just that time of year, getting ready for winter, hibernation. I want to say thank you so much for everyone who's ordered from my shop so far. Oh man, I'm so grateful. And it's been so much fun packing your orders. So I hope they arrive all safely and soundly. <laughs> That's my biggest worry is that they're going to get damaged uh, as I've had uh, one get pretty badly damaged and I feel terrible when that happens. It's unfortunately out of my control um, and I mean, you know, these things happen, but yeah, I just uh, want to make sure they uh, that you guys are happy with them uh, as it is just me here, uh, me and Margo, she's the floor manager um, and I do have special gloves for the occasion. So, I pack them with the utmost care, guaranteed. Also to give a bit of a shop update, I've actually outsourced my printing again. Um, I wanted to do that from the start, however, it got a bit expensive. Um, so that's why I invested in a printer. However, uh, it's probably just me. I'm, I'm not sure uh, where I'm going wrong really, but it, uh, it's been a lot of trial and error. I thought I got to write with the colors and everything. However, um, yeah, the printer, worked great for a while but then it just kind of stopped working and it would only print out half the image or it wouldn't recognize uh, the computer it's connected to and uh, then it started making little pizza wheels on it and it started making its own little you know signature on the art print which I mean fair it's you know it's a creative little machine uh, so <laughs> it wants to take part but yeah I just uh, <laughs> It got quite stressful as I just, I could not figure out. It would just take me sometimes a day or two to try and just look at tutorials or look online to see how I can solve the problem. And uh, yeah, I just, it just started to cost me a lot of paper as well. Um, so I know it's a good printer. Uh, it's just me that's not been able to figure out how to work because when it did those dents, I had to send it in to get it replaced. And then I got it replaced and then all the settings, all the color settings I'd set um, were gone. So then I had to restart and then I just started to worry that the color quality wasn't going to be the same for the next uh, person who wanted to buy a print. And that's something I, I don't want to sacrifice on at all is the quality uh, of the product for anybody who wants to, you know, invest in it. So because there's a huge level of trust from you guys as well to to buy it from my shop you guys you know you guys deserve to have good quality for it so yes i've um decided to outsource it again and i am very happy with it because i managed to find a local shop so it wasn't quite as expensive as the other one i found and it does feel good to support our local business as well and it's just kind of nice that i can trust that the prints will turn out uh right every time so it saves me time as well to do some more painting and all the fun stuff I enjoy. So yeah, so I just wanted to kind of let you guys know that that's the process now for when you're buying prints. Um, yeah, that's where it's coming from. So yeah, so I think today I really wanted to paint something kind of cozy and um, yeah, just kind of in line with the mood I'm feeling right now. So yeah, something hibernationary and I'm going to be using gouache for this one. And yeah, so you're welcome to keep me company and uh, yeah, paint along with me. Before I start, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Wild. Wild is a sustainable uh, deodorant uh, with a refillable uh, case. And it's really easy to uh, and practical actually to refill it. And the refills are all biodegradable. And uh, yeah, and the subscription is very easy and very flexible. So you can get a refill sent to you. And they ship worldwide as well, so wherever you are, they, they, they'll ship it. It's great because uh, they don't use any single-use plastic, which is something I'm a huge fan of, as I'm trying to reduce my plastic use as much as I can. 
they're also certified vegan and cruelty free which is a real importance to me as i don't want to use any products that test on animals or you know have any cruelty attached to it and yeah i think they smell really nice as well and uh, they last all day uh in my experience <laughs> anyway i mean i don't really think about it too much i just put on in the morning and then i'm good to go they have just released three limited scents uh, spice orange pear fresh mountain air prosecco and winter berries if you click on my promo code uh, you can get a discount and at the moment they're having a very high uh discount as it's black friday right around the corner or now <laughs> uh, so they're giving a 30 percent uh discount to anybody who clicks on the link below uh for the promo code and yeah you're welcome to check it out um yeah and have a look around and see what you like No, uh, so as you can not see here at all, <laughs> uh, I must have put the lights on a bit too strong because uh, yeah, it's a little bit overexposed so I apologise about that but I still added this just, just kind of show the work process a little bit as I remember someone asked if I can I just draw straight from my imagination and I, I guess I do but uh, in this case, I had a sketch and then I traced over it and I used the window to, to do that, um, kind of like a backlight, and I get it over to the watercolour paper. And yeah, get it ready for painting, um, which you can't see here. So again, I really apologise for the quality. I'm, I'm still learning uh, to get that right. Uh, also, I really hope the audio is okay. Um, the other day, uh, my hearing aid stopped working and I've got the spare one, uh, however I can't connect to the Bluetooth with this one, so I can't quite hear if the sound quality is uh, top notch. Um, I'm just kind of trusting the level bars. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, this little guy uh, came up to me while I was out walking <laughs> and yeah, I guess I wanted some food, so I went obediently to the shop and got some peanuts. So, as I mentioned before, uh, I used a uh, wash for this painting and I really wanted to do something kind of hibernation uh, themed so I decided to paint three hibernating bears um, on the mama bear and her two little cubs and yeah this was a really nice relaxing painting to paint, um, it was a bit tricky in parts uh, so there was a lot of figuring out as well, kind of just what I wanted to do with the colours. I had a general idea of what colours I wanted to do, use, um, but yeah, as often I, I'm not like 100% sure it's going to work, so yeah, so it's a bit of a trial and error and a lot of thinking, as you can see. <laughs> um, I am also following a sketch here um, that you can't see, unfortunately. But yeah, I'm not just painting from imagination here. Um, I do try to keep or make a reasonably detailed sketch underneath as I do need, I, I kind of need that for when I'm painting, otherwise I'll get lost in the sauce. Uh, so yeah, again, apologies for the overexposed uh, image. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun to paint and really relaxing as I think um, yeah, bears are pretty awesome and I'm kind of jealous. I'd like to also spend the winter hibernating. Um, I think that's kind of an awesome thing that they do. 
Um, I do have a lot of respect for bears though. <laughs> um, I'll be honest, I am a little bit scared of bears. I think they're majestic and great. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, I, I do try to stay out of any woods where I know they might be. Uh, I don't think we have any in England anymore. I think they uh, were extinct a couple of hundred years ago. But we do have them up in the north of Sweden, I believe. And I remember visiting a friend up in the north and yeah, and we were in her uh, cabin, I think it was. And uh, they didn't have a toilet indoors, so they had an outhouse and she would kind of casually joke, I guess. Uh, so, you know, as I go out there, uh, be careful of the bears. Which I, um, yeah, <laughs> yeah respected it definitely and I do remember as well uh, whenever I'd visit my dad in Colorado uh, there would be these flyers uh, out saying oh, be careful of the bears when you're going out with your rubbish and I kind of thought why are we not being evacuated out here um, is no one worried about this um, but yeah I never saw any and I do think they do keep their distance they don't really go out of the way to harm people unless you're out in the woods uh, so that's why I try to stay away from it because I know with my luck I would run into one uh, that wasn't scared of me and I would just end up being lunch and also because I can bet the bear would be like hey I, I hear your name's salmon because <laughs> I eat salmon and that would be me officially offline <laughs> Uh, bear's lunch and yeah because I never had that sense of plot armor you know I never felt like oh yeah I'll be fine <laughs> I know these people go out in the woods and they'll see a paw print and they'll get really excited about it whereas I'm like no <laughs> let's not uh, go further into the woods where there's a big creature that can leave a paw like that size shall we not please <laughs> um, but yeah so this painting, um, yeah, as you'll see, it was a lot of trial and error and a little bit of, uh, yeah, figuring it out. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun and I'm quite happy with it. Yeah, I still feel like I've got a bit to learn, but yeah, I'm happy with it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And yeah, I will see you guys soon. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your November. And yeah, take care. Speak soon. Thank you.
Thank you.